We all know of Christopher Columbus and his famous voyage, the first contact with the continent of America. But only some know that Columbus is not the first European to set foot in the Americas. The records show that Leif Erikson, a Viking explorer, sailed to the continent almost 500 years before Columbus and actually tried to settle in North America. And very few know that the news of Leif Erikson's exploration was actually spread in Columbus's hometown for 150 years before he was even born. It's very likely that Columbus and other sailors were aware of this new land, Marcalada, beyond Greenland. Maybe this wasn't an accidental rediscovery after all, but a planned voyage to harness these rich lands and reach the fame and wealth he had always desired. The intriguing recent discovery of a medieval manuscript by Paolo Chiesa challenges what we thought we knew about Columbus's accidental discovery of the continent. For centuries, Europeans had used a safe land passage to trade and travel to China and the Far East. This route, later named the Silk Road, included a large network of strategically located trading posts, markets and throughfares designed to streamline the transport, exchange, distribution and storage of goods. Trade along the Silk Road included many things from fruits and vegetables to religious objects and artwork. But the most important trade was culture and science. Chinese inventions, the compass, gunpowder and paper had the biggest impact on Western culture. The introduction of these items bore a whole new era and fostered significant industrial change. The eventual development of Gutenberg's printing press also enabled a wider exchange of news and information. European exploration beyond the Silk Road and the Mediterranean started with the maritime expeditions of Portugal to the Canary Islands in 1336. However, not much was achieved beyond Cape Verde until the Ottoman Empire took control of Constantinople in 1453. The fall of Constantinople and the rise of the Ottoman Empire was a blow to the established business and trade links of the East. The Ottomans boycotted trade with the West and blocked the routes in Anatolia, North Africa and the Red Sea. It became an inevitable necessity for Europeans to find new routes to the Far East. With all the new tools, knowledge and experience gathered through the years of trade with the East, Europeans were finally able to venture out and explore new sea routes. This was the beginning of the Age of Discovery, which emerged as a powerful factor in European culture, most notably the encounter and colonisation of the Americas. Italian explorer Christopher Columbus was one of the early European pioneers that was searching for new travel routes to Asia. As the well-known story goes, Columbus thought that he could reach Asia by travelling west instead of sailing around the enormous African continent. After several failed attempts to find funds for his voyage plans, he agreed on a contract with the Spanish monarchs, Ferdinand of Aragon and Isabella of Castile. On August 3, 1492, Columbus and his crew set sail from Spain to the west. On October the 12th, his three ships, the Nina, the Pinta and the Santa Maria reached the shores of the Bahamian Islands for the first time. This was a groundbreaking voyage and was recorded in history as an accidental discovery of the New World. And for centuries to come, Europeans rushed to these new islands to settle. And Christopher Columbus was known as the first discoverer of the New World. However, the first people to truly discover the New World first set foot there over 30,000 years ago. These first settlers moved to the continent from Asia, most likely using the Bering Land Bridge. Then, around 13,000 years ago, after the last Ice Age, Beringia disappeared under the sea and the continent lost its passage to the rest of the world. 
These initial settlers flourished for thousands of years, and the Americas were more populated than Europe at the time of Columbus's voyage. It's quite possible that many others had travelled to the continent before Columbus, but the oldest known record is the Vinland Sagas from the 10th century, which predates Columbus by 500 years. When a Viking called Bjarni Herjolfsson was blown off course whilst attempting to sail to Greenland from Iceland, he sighted an unknown land with mountains, hills and forests. This was most likely the east coast of North America. Without exploring further, he sailed back to his original destination, Greenland, and told the story of the lands he'd seen. Fourteen years later, another Viking, Leif Eriksson, bought Bjarni's old ship and set out to discover these rumoured lands, with a crew 35 strong. Leif Eriksson followed the route Bjarni had described in reverse and landed in a total of three areas. A desolate rocky area that he named Heluland, a forested area possibly near Cape Porcupine that he named Markland, and a lush green area with a mild climate, plentiful salmon and grapes, which he named Vinland. Leif spent almost a year in Vinland exploring it. He eventually set sail back to Greenland, never to return. His brothers and other Vikings led more expeditions to Vinland after him, but due to the hostile relationships with the indigenous people, they failed to settle in the region. Since then, the whole continent stayed hidden from the rest of the world for another 500 years, until Christopher Columbus's accidental rediscovery. But a recent discovery of a medieval manuscript by Paolo Chiesa shows that Galvanus Flammer, a Dominican friar, described Marcolada in 1345. Marcolada, where giants live. In this land, there are buildings with such huge slabs of stone that nobody could build with them, except huge giants. There are also green trees, animals, and a great quantity of birds. However, no sailor was ever able to know anything for sure about this land, or about its features. This is the first known reference to the American continent in the Mediterranean area. Flammer wrote several works in Latin which are rare accounts about the era. Most likely, he had heard stories from sailors about these lands. He even collected information about Greenland that was accurate for the time. Considering accounts of the New World likely came from seafarers in the port city of Genoa, Columbus's hometown, and rumours that Columbus visited Iceland and spent almost a whole winter there, it's very likely that he had heard about Leif Erikson, Markland and Vinland, either in his hometown or during his supposed visit to Iceland. His first voyage to the continent might not just have been to find India, but also to discover this legendary land called Markalada and reach the fame and wealth he had always desired. Even if that was the case, he did ultimately make new landfall in the Bahamas, far south of the shores the Nordic sources had described. Despite it being known that Columbus is not the first European explorer of the continent, he is still celebrated annually on Columbus Day in the United States. Some choose to counter-celebrate the same day and have declared it as Indigenous Peoples Day in protest of the European conquest of North America. Dozens of Christopher Columbus statues have been removed all around the US for his genocidal policy on indigenous people. In 2021, the White House announced October the 11th as Indigenous Peoples Day to be celebrated in the United States.